What's up tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. This is your review for RuPaul's Drag Race season 14 episode 13. So the mini challenge is um, um, a promotion for Anastasia, Anastasia of Hollywood, the new palette. Um, we saw the, the, uh, the, um, was the president of Anastasia of, um, Hollywood and we have RuPaul and the mini challenge is they are going to use the new palette to paint RuPaul's face. Well, not exactly. They're going to be painting a duplicate of a mural of RuPaul and Dolly Parton down to the North Carolina, but the actual mural is found in North Carolina and they'll be using the color from the palette, but it's actual paint. And so they had to break off into teams. And so, uh, let me give a note so I can get it right. Um, and so we had Deja Sky and Jeria and Georges painting RuPaul. And then we had Betty, uh, Daya Betty, Bosco, Lady Camden, and Willow painting, um, Dolly Parton. The winner was Dolly Parton's team. And as a result, the maxi challenge this week is a roast of Ross Matthews. And the winning team gets to pick the order in which everybody performs. Now, we know that this is always a big deal when it comes to the roast because, you don't, you know, being first and being last are the two hardest um, because you have to start the show, you have to finish the show. And so, usually this ends up being a whole shady moment where everybody sort of gets stuck. You know, oh, they making the person go first they think is the weakest and that kind of thing. But actually, they kind of, you know, got everybody's input and they did, they tried to be as fair as they could be with it. And what we ended up with, um, the order we ended up with was Bosco. And Bosco wanted to go first. Georges, Deja, um, Angeria, Betty, Willow, and then the caboose is Lady Comden. Now, the person that's going to be helping them with their jokes, we have Michelle Visage and Duce Sloan, the comedian. You may know her from um, the late, the, um, the Daily Show. I like Duce. Um, and so everybody came out, you know, one at a time to sort of give their, their joke rundown. Um, the funniest, Bosco was, 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 was good. George is totally off and it got, in her, it got in George's head. Like, I just can't do it. I'm not funny. I just can't get these jokes. Uh, Deja's jokes were not funny. They gave Deja some notes. Told her to take some jokes out and, and do some things. And, and that's important because I'm going to come back around to that. And Jerry um, was not so much the funniest, but the most confident. And honestly, confidence goes a long way because sometimes you, you hear something and somebody says it with such confidence, you like, oh, really? Oh, oh, shoot. You know, when you put a certain level of confidence behind something, it, it changes people's whole attitudes about stuff, right? Uh, Diabetti. Uh, was good. Willow was good. Lady Camden was good, right? I mean, everybody had somewhere to grow, but they most of them came in there with some decent jokes, right? The worst ones, I, I felt like the worst ones was George's and uh, Deja. Everybody else had room to grow. Had some, some zingers, but, you know. So, um, oh, so they came through and Bosco killed it. Bosco started us off. Bosco killed it. It was absolutely funny. Georgia had some, she had some funny jokes, but again, there was no confidence behind the jokes. And it was almost as if she was just trying to get through it. She was reading off of her index cards. It was obvious. She was pausing in between jokes. And there was just no confidence behind it. But the sad thing was, it was actually kind of funny. Some of her jokes were actually kind of funny. Um, Deja totally bombed. I mean, bombed. Like, it was so uncomfortable, I fast forwarded through the rest of her part. It was so uncomfortable to watch. And Jeria, hilarious. And again, her jokes weren't the funniest, but she landed them with such confidence that it made you laugh. Rue said, I was laughing at the jokes that weren't even that funny just because of how confident she was in her jokes. Um, Diabetti, Diabetti started off by saying, I'm so nervous. And so from that point forward, it was almost like it just, Dolce said, 
you took away the illusion. You broke the fifth wall. Once you said, I'm so nervous, you just took away the illusion and it was hard to kind of recover. And her jokes were long. You know, a lot of times these jokes, you got to get in and get out. Get in and get out. You got to drop the joke, drop the punchline, boom, boom, boom. You can't tell a whole story time. You don't have... You don't have the crowd and you don't have the time to give this long storyline to get us to the end. Like, you, you got to get in and get out. Um, Willow was funny. Willow was funny. And Lady Camden did okay. She had this whole joke with the whole echo thing that didn't quite work. Um, but again, she stuck with it. You know, listen, she goes, she stuck with it. Okay. The, um... The um, runway was two twos, and um, I think my favorite, my favorite for the night was um, Bosco. Bosco came out in this whole buzz, buzz saw ballerina outfit where everything was this buzz saw theme. Even the hair was like so, you know, had a saw down the middle of it and split. Um, so I was here for that. George's, I, it was a whole biker girl dress situation um didn't do anything for me again i just feel like at this point with george's we're saying the same thing like i'm not saying anything new anything innovative you're not giving me nothing different um willow was great i think willow's was well no actually willow's might have been my favorite they were they were neck and neck willow had this whole queen thing with the big lips and the hair and the high collar and it had a strain and it was black and white and had red accents like a Cruella de Vil. I loved it. I, and again, it was different from what we normally see from Willow. Like, that's what I'm talking about with George's. George's isn't shocking us with anything. George's isn't giving us anything that I would go, oh my goodness, I've never thought I would see that from George's, right? Nothing, do, nothing new. And Jerry, the same thing. Now, and Jerry has switched it up. Even though this week she gave us a gown with a bunch of tutus on it and this this color that, brought, like Ross Matthews said, is a color that you wouldn't expect to see on anybody, but it looked good on. And then Jeria knows how to, she knows how to work a runway. Like, she's got that whole pageant thing going. But when she needs to camp it up, she has camped it up. She has switched it up. I mean, more times than not, we see the glamour, but she's definitely given us other looks, right? Diabetti, um... What did I write here? Oh, I wrote the shoes. Diabetes was on these 11-inch heels, baby. These stacked heels. Okay. Um, and then, um, had a whole, um, oh, her whole outfit was made out of recycled materials. Which, it's a cute concept, but the judges can't tell that. Like, it was, like, you told us because you gave us a description of your outfit, but the judges don't know that. But the shoes did it. Like, you walking out there in them 11-inch heels, baby. I'm, ooh, baby. Deja Sky had this ugly ass look like a prom dress from the 1980s. Listen, for somebody who is who can sew, who has made costumes and done all these great things, baby, you honestly, Deja's runways have been my least favorite. More times than not. I, I, I'm, I'm not enjoying what Deja is giving us on the runway. And I didn't see Tutu. I saw prom. And of course, Lady Camden came through with the perfect ballerina outfit on, you know, gave us the whole ballerina moment, which that's what we expected from her, right? Being a ballerina. Well, we don't call men ballerinas, do we? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to just go ahead and say this. Um... The two people that I felt, well, the three people that I feel like the judges were the most upset with was Georges. They feel like Georges just quit, just kind of gave up and just kind of threw in a towel. Uh, Diabetti, because Diabetti did exactly what they told her not to do when the first thing out of her mouth was, I'm so nervous. They literally told her not to say that when they were giving her the critiques. And Deja Sky, for the exact same reason. Deja Sky kept jokes that they told her didn't work. Like, they literally said, that joke's not funny, take it out. And she kept it in because she was like, well, I thought it was funny. You do know they get paid for this, right? Make, make money. That's what they do for a living. That's how they make their money. So, 
those three were in the bottom. You know, of course, we had the save last week, and then we had the double Shante. I knew we were coming up on a week where two people had to go home. Like, they just had to do it. I knew we had to get to that. And so, they were in the bottom. But guess who was at the top? Miss, I almost got eliminated if it wasn't for the gold candy bar I had in my bosom. Bosco won. And Bosco deserved to win. Bo Bosco really did deserve to win. Um... So anyway, that's what it came down to. So we have Deja Sky, Diabetti, and Georges lip syncing to um, what's that song? Uh, Good for You by Olivia um, Rodrigo. And unfortunately, the two people that had to go home was Georges, who it was time. It was time. It was time for Georges to go home. Um, and Deja Sky, and it it was time. It was time. So, die, Betty, Shantae, you stay. And now, uh, we are down to five, right? We are down to our final five. Next week, we will have the final, well, not next week because I'm behind. The next episode, we will have the final elimination and get ready um, for the final four in the finale. Now, I'm behind. I was trying to get caught up before the finale. That's probably not going to happen. But I will get it all in by the end of, by, I'll get it in soon. Anyway, thank you for those who've been sticking with me. I know I've been late in getting these out, but I appreciate my diehards who've been watching them, even though they're late. Appreciate you. Anyway, I'll see y'all on the other side.